So there's a thing called an AI town. It's a GitHub project that you can pull. Anyone can pull this. Uh, you can have a ta town that, that ho hosts these AI agents. And okay. I want to talk. Yeah. Okay. AI agent meaning there are individuals in this city town that are AI driven that are. So from what I understand, because I, I, you've told me about this a couple weeks ago, these things are models that learn about their surroundings and about other models that live in the village. Yeah, in, in, a, more, in a more or less way. Um, with the whole chat GPT craze and everything, yeah. you can have these agents. You describe certain hyperparameters to them, right? Like their personality, uh, what they like, general you know, personality traits. And then you can have this agent interact with other agents. And what they found was they would be able to coordinate by themselves like a surprise birthday party or something on their own, no hands off. Wow. They would just, everyone, you know, doesn't talk to this one person and coordinates accordingly and sets up a party. So the only input by human is in the beginning, right? There's no input later by human. This yeah. Is, it just goes off by itself. It just itself. goes off. Yeah. It just does its own thing. And it has, as long as you have a certain kind of basic personality that is interested in doing things. Like, I think there was like one person who likes to set up parties. By person, you mean like an AI model? Like an AI model, yeah. 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 But that's all, it, that's all it thinks, right? It's a personality trait. It's a person who's, you know... And this thing just little... runs... Like, you can make your own server, but there's a server where that's just been running, right? Like an actual one that just... Yeah. Yeah. Like and an it, instance, I guess you can call it. It records conversations of the whole, you know, from person to person. So, like, you and I would have our own chat tree uh, versus another person, and they would... Ha remember the conversation they had with the person that progress it's scary because i think that's what like is yeah what's the difference between this yeah. ai town and i don't think um, there is i think we're a bunch of just agents of our own biological agents that are just doing the same exact goddamn thing <laughs> like it's, oh absolutely yeah. like there's one person who likes to set up parties right like yeah. there's a person who's um extroverted yeah. introverted it's like a whole thing it's all hyper parameters at that point so is there powers like Meaning like the human intervention. Can I like pick up one agent and put him in a different bed and he wakes up in the wrong house? Can you do stuff like that? Um, I mean, why not? It's a, it's a whole world. You can just do Oh, so I want. guess you, when you create your own instance, you can make the rules. Yeah. Yeah. You could play effectively God in this yeah. AI town. Like you just have the, you know, starting parameters and then go off. One, I mean, like you could model this current office, like have each person... Jesus. With their own personalities, their own jobs, their yeah. own access to different data sets, and see what they do with. Wow! Yeah, it's pretty. Um, it's pretty interesting. It's just kind of a simulation, right? Of, of life. Of life. And I was thinking, like, what if you put in like ne like uh, Morpheus? Okay, so you add an agent into it. Yeah. That has knowledge of the outside, giving you like there's like this Neo character in there, just living its normal office life, right? Like just yeah. for for years, and then you introduce a Morpheus character, right? Do you think that that's been done? Like someone, some instance of this, someone has done something like that, right? Maybe has messed with the population of the models. You call it, so I like the word, I like the agents better. Whereas you give one of the agents knowledge that there's an outside world. Yeah, what happens? Yeah. What happens when an AI model thinks it's not, you know, it's not con in this contained world? We should do this as like a study. As a study? Yeah. I was thinking just kind of like, well, it would be funny like if it tried to get out and then... <laughs> Well, I, I want to see what happens. Has like, animosity towards, you know, the overlords or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, which is just you pull, get, get pulling a project and then deploying it on a server somewhere. Yeah, let's, tr let's try to mess with these agents as much as we possibly can. We could add like a Jesus character. Yeah. One that has powers. And then you could, you could make Judas and then you could say, hey, Judas, fuck, fuck with this guy. Just or fuck. see if a Judas develops. Oh, out of, yeah. Like, is there going to be one? Is it is 12 too many people? <laughs> no, I think, okay, so think of it this way. You add this other agent that has powers that the other agents don't have, is able to, let's pretend, like, spawn food or something. Or, like, the only thing is they don't need sustenance, right? So I'm trying to think of what would be a, what would be well, a Well, you could do that. You could, like, a Sims. Like, a Sims, you know, like, Sims 3. Yeah, yeah you could have it where, like, their energy goes down. Their right, okay. So you could have one of the agents that's able to do some weird shit, like spawn their own food, yeah. or um, they don't have to go out hunting or something. Maybe you can get to access another land mass because you can walk on water. Damn, dude. Yeah. And see how they react. Do they do they kill him, right? Because of, because of the, the jealousy and yeah. like the... Yeah. 
No, absolutely. It would be. I think. I think it's quite. Um, I mean, you could build whole movies about it. Like you could ho- build whole stories about it. Like I was thinking, same thing with the Matrix. Can you recreate the Matrix? Right. Will Will Neo do the same things that we think in the movie it would do? It would want to know what the truth is. Yeah. It would be crazier though. Is there is a Morpheus character, but that Morpheus character is in another simulation of this simulated external oh. world, right? Yeah. So there's layers, basically. Yeah. And the external world is like the world that we see in the Matrix of the the, the real world of Zion and whatnot. So, so you create like level one of the AI village. Morpheus exists in level one. Yeah. And in that world, it's post-apocalyptic. Like it's shitty. Yeah. Or something. It's, and there's like Zion. There's like the, um, you know. There's, there's the these, whole... these like bad guys that exist. Yeah, right? bad guys exist. And then he's able, he's the only person, let's say, that's able to interact with a, a sub world underneath of that and tell them that there's this world above that exists. And then they need help killing these units, these bad guys. Yeah. Can they list people to come? Yeah. And how like, hard is that? Is it even yeah. feasible? Do they, do people like think he's crazy? Like kill him? I'd love to do this. Yeah, and I think it's it, in the end, it's more about the hyperparameter, right? A person is Neo is right. fucking gullible, right? You just have to find a gullible like QAnon person <laughs> <laughs> and get all the get all the QAnon people going to go to Zion and shit. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. a really interesting idea, actually. Make do do Terminator, man. Have like a naked uh, Arnold. Oh, could you? Oh, could you? Could you have people come back through time? Yeah, unquote, no, totally. That have that have like higher like uh, accessibility to technology or something. Oh shit! No, you could do whatever you want. Like, see, this yeah. guy has like um, like you could simulate uh, worlds from like Napoleon times to now, and then just. One guy, just a scientist, goes back with a fucking AK-47 or something. <laughs> AK-47. AK-47. <laughs> you little the boy. That would be interesting. This is cool. I think this is a really cool idea. Um, is is it like academic that they started this or is it just kind of like a fun thing? I think it was like on Stanford. I think it was more an – it was an academic paper they published in. Yeah. Um, I think it's the – it's the fact that you can make autonomous agents with the current technology that we have. To a certain extent. Well, that, that kind of goes with my... I think you can write an academic paper by manipulating it in ways like that. Like, how do the AI agents react to things that are unnatural within their own perspective? How, if you disturb their ecosystem, how do they react? Yeah, I mean, in the end, it's more like... It, do the model themselves have existential angst, right? Yeah. If they, if 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 you're... I mean, like, what are we? If we're, we're told the same thing, would we operate the same way? I mean, seen throughout history, when, when a certain AI, a certain agent, let's say, mm-hmm. corrupts, disrupts the status quo, right? people get really uneasy. Yeah, even, right? like, scientific truths are held back because they don't want to yeah. disturb the status yeah, quo. Yeah, Galileo, um, Jesus, like, people like, you know, people who historically have done things that were against the status quo. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's a, it's, a, it's a good self-reflection, I think, this AI. Event. Yeah, and it's also like, how much self-policing do we do, right? Yeah. Like, if you're in a community, what happens? Like, the mob mentality of maintaining the, the status quo as well. And how pressured you are individually because of it. I don't know, it's, it's pretty fascinating to think about all the movies that you could do with it. Just yeah. like, I, I don't know. We could make them all pirates. Yeah, Pirates, pirates of the Caribbean. Pirates of the Caribbean. You can yeah. do like, Sleepless Lord of the Seattle. Rings. Oh, Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Holy crap. Dude. Holy shit. The Golem character is like a yeah. you know anime character. 